Hey everybody, welcome to YouTube Dad. I figured I'd squeeze in a quick um, little video right before it rains here in Florida. Uh, we're going to be going over gardening. My son wanted a garden, so I built him a little raised bed garden. And uh, this is how it looks. This is my first one. Um, never really did a garden before, but figured what the heck, might as well give it a shot. So right here we got a big boy tomato plant. We've already gotten some small tomatoes off of it. Um, they were grouping down here, so we kind of thinned them out once they started ripening, um, just so we could get bigger and bigger uh, tomatoes. I just got this set here to prop up this limb. I gotta tie it up, but we got tomatoes on there. Tomatoes growing. I just did fence post all the way around. Well, fence planks all the way around. And I set up this little watering thing uh, with PVC pipe. I drilled holes in it. It waters pretty good. Uh, it works for now. I still got to do a little bit of work. Got some strawberries. Already got some strawberries coming in. Can't wait to try them out and taste them. See how they, if they're sweet or not. My kids are excited. I have a six and a six and a half and a five year old. Got a watermelon plant there. It's doing pretty good. Then I got two squash plants. This one doesn't have any squash up. It's got one little squash on it, little female squash. Got lots of male flowers about ready to be budding. That's a male flower right there because it's not attached to a squash. So when this blooms and this blooms, you if you don't have a lot of pollinators, you can actually take the pollen from the inside of the male flower and place it on the inside of the female flower using a q-tip or a paintbrush um, and you can actually pollinate your your uh, squash that way you can see I got one over here that's doing pretty good and I got other male flowers here and then a large male flower right there actually two large male flowers this is only two two plants. I'm going to let them grow this way. I did plant some cucumbers out here. I'm trying to grow them from uh, from seed. We'll see what happens. Um, we're in zone, I think it's zone 9 in Florida. Um, if nothing grows over here, I'm planning to just put some uh, more dirt in and a weed barrier on top. Just get rid of some of the weeds because that's what those are there. My son's also wanted to do some, um, some what's it called, some uh, sunflowers so we got some sunflowers growing in this pot and I got three other pots with sunflowers these are gonna be our bell bell peppers they look pretty good something ate the leaf there but you know we're in Florida we got bugs things happen so we actually have three of them we have a nice little flower right there for the bell pepper another bell pepper they're doing very good and happy my wife wants a little bit of uh, some what's it called some uh, some basil basil and cilantro so we got a nice basil plant here got to make sure it doesn't get too big and go to seed if it does the leaves can go bitter um, just pick them off they taste great we got a couple leaves here I mean, weeds I gotta pull too but that is the pest presto pesto basil we got some more um, sunflower seed plants got a lot of them going in here and then on over here I planted some arugula and it is doing very well along with that got some little carrots growing not sure if you can see those well got some carrots all through there so very happy and then made a mistake and I thought I was planting uh, cilantro in here and accidentally dumped the seeds for my um, spinach so this is actually spinach growing in here so once it gets a little bigger I'll transplant it and put it somewhere else planning on doing some potatoes in that one and in this bucket I'm waiting for the eyes on the potatoes to come out and also going to do some sweet potatoes I'm waiting on a slip to come out of the sweet potato uh, so this is our little garden it's a start we're planning on going all the way down with it once we get uh, kind of get our feet wet and see how things grow so here's how the watering works I just got a little timer manual timer I come out here twice a day first thing in the morning before the Sun comes out 
and right before the sun goes down because I don't want to burn the leaves. And I don't want the water to go all over the leaves, so I'm trying to spray it down to the roots. And we've got some water going in these little areas. All right, guys, let me know what you think. Like and subscribe. If you have any comments, leave some comments, any pointers, any tips, anything I'm doing right or wrong, let me know. I'm willing to learn, willing to listen, and I'll try out what you say, and I'll do a video of it, and we'll see if what you recommend works. All right, guys, till next time, like and subscribe. See you too, Dad.